Hi there, Gemini. Welcome to your reading. So we're going to go ahead and pick some cards to see what is going on for you, what surprises are coming your way, things that you should just know for the near future. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use the Gilded Tarot deck to see what is going on for you for this next week, Gemini. Ooh, wow. Okay. This, this card came flying out. We got the Four of Pentacles. Interesting. Definitely see um, something to do with finances. Yeah. So Four of Pentacles sort of indicates like holding on to something. I feel like maybe um, if you've been feeling like you need to save up or something like that, I feel like there's um, financial abundance coming your way where you don't have to like sting or what am i saying cling so tightly to your money you don't have to be stingy i'm seeing like maybe at the moment like you've kind of been focusing on saving up but i see some sort of financial abundance coming your way um we also got the queen of pentacles yeah this totally clarifies what i was saying um about the four of pentacles i feel like that was like actually pretty psychic because like with the four of pentacles you know i feel like um it could have gone one of two ways um, I was either going to tell you to save up in this, you know, upcoming week, the upcoming couple of, you know, next weeks, but I'm actually seeing that you are going to be gaining a lot of abundance, okay, in your material life, in your career life, so you don't have to, like, you know, um, again, like, hold on to things, like, be stingy or anything like that, like, you should be able to spend your money the way that you want to, you know, um, so that's something that i'm seeing like now's really the time to treat yourself i feel like you've been pretty good at that um you've been pretty good at like you know it, generally you're pretty logical rational you know you make pretty sound decisions i know you know gemini placements are all about having fun so maybe if you do spend money it could have a lot to do with like you know um social settings like maybe you spend money when going out with your friends and stuff like that but i'm seeing that you know that doesn't have to be the case like you can spend it freely um and i feel like all your hard work is paying off i feel like a lot of you watching this you know you are really ambitious um hard working uh tenacious tenacious oh, i never know how to say that word um you know you guys are all about that hard work you know your intelligence your intellectual endeavors have really helped you you know in a lot of different ways especially when it comes to growing your finances so keep doing what you're doing i feel like it's definitely paying off i'm also seeing that you have a couple of side hustles that are going to pay off i've noticed a lot of entrepreneurs and people that end up starting their own businesses are gemini's or have like gemini placements in their big three so if that's the case um keep at it okay like you are doing really great and all your hard work is paying off okay so yeah um we also got the five of wands so yeah i feel like um you know this sort of does represent like conflict and um discord and things like that but also competition i feel like you know um some of you guys do have like this competitive uh, nature nature like this edge to you where you feel like you really have to you know um do your best be, you know because you're competing with other people but the biggest thing i'm seeing is that the only competition you have is yourself so i'm seeing that in this next week try to up one up yourself try to like you know set records for yourself and improve upon that okay again your only real competition is you you can definitely use other people's inspiration you know like sort of like healthy motivation and things like that but um i'm definitely seeing that you know um you're the one that's really going to um set the you know what pre yeah precedence yeah that's the word i was looking for set the precedence for your own success okay again i feel like i see a lot of gemini's that are entrepreneurs um you know like there are so many like business owners like from what i've like seen and experienced again have gemini placements and it's like you know when starting a business it's like everyone has their own journey it's really different than like let's say you know a standard nine to five and it's like people you know have different business goals that they reach they end up setting their own precedence you know of course there's like you know competitions with other you know businesses in your field but it's um yeah i'm just seeing right now the only thing that you need to like improve upon is your own habits um i'm even seeing something to do with like budgeting and allocating your finances i feel like you're definitely going to be getting a lot better at that um you've been saving up you've been you know really practical and your practicality is paying off gemini so that's really cool um we also got the page of swords so i definitely feel like someone is stalking your social media okay um someone has really been like creeping up on you um and i feel like this is um maybe it could be someone from the past like maybe someone that you kind of had a conflict with or a falling out with or something like that yeah um i'm getting air and earth signs a lot so earth signs taurus 
Virgo, Capricorn, air signs, or sorry, what am I saying? Um, fire and um, what do you call earth signs? Fire signs are Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So I definitely feel like someone from the past that you may have had a falling out with, whether that be an ex or like a friend or something like that, is definitely stalking your social media pages. Yeah, but um, you know, taking the rest of the spread into account, I'm also seeing that like you know, um, you could there is someone out there that like wants to like um form a partnership with you, and they could be like you know stalking your social media and being about to and you know. Uh, being about to and they might you know dm you okay like i feel like there's an opportunity coming your way like let's say you're on instagram i definitely feel like there's like a brand ambassadorship program or like you know s some sort of company whose brand ambassador is going to reach out to you regarding a deal so keep your eye out for that i feel like you're generally pretty good at not letting opportunities pass you by but now more than ever you should be um definitely yeah keeping an eye out for that and not letting sorry sometimes i swear i swear i'm just so redundant but i guess that means the message is clear but um don't let this opportunity pass you by because i feel like it's going to be really good for you yeah we also got the two of swords i feel like um some of you might be feeling a little bit indecisive about something um i feel like maybe you've had a hard time like you know um choosing between two things um i'm not sure what that is exactly just yet maybe it could be between job offers or even between two people but there is a decision that you have to make and i feel like you know now's really the time for you to act upon that now it's really the time for you to like you know open up your eyes open up your third chakra activate your even crown chakra a little bit more in order to gain insight on what to do so yeah um and we also got the seven of cups yeah you definitely have a lot of options coming to you in love gemini maybe that's what this two of swords could um mean you know since these two cards are right next to each other maybe this means that you you are going to have to make a decision regarding your love life i feel like there's a lot of people that are into you a lot of people want to offer you something you know in love maybe you could be on dating apps and like be talking to multiple people and I feel like maybe there's like a couple of people that you really narrowed down, but like you just have a lot of choices in general. And I feel like you are going to have to like, you know, um, make that choice. I definitely feel like someone like this gives me like bachelor, bachelorette vibes. So yeah. And for those of you guys that are already in a relationship, I'm definitely seeing that, you know, um, with this queen of pentacles, this could mean that your relationship is going to another level, you know, um, whatever that looks like for you, wherever you are, because the queen of pentacles does indicate stability, you know, um, someone who really likes traditional relationships, you know, that have like structure to them. Um, yes, just something long-term committed and like i really feel like you're going to be entering that new phase again whatever that looks like for you um i feel like someone is going to be offering you something especially in regards to your love life which is really going to which is going to be really great for you okay I, I feel like for a lot of you guys yeah maybe you could just be kind of dating around for fun but i feel like um you will be like with someone for like the longer time if that makes sense like if you are single i feel like you're gonna find someone with whom you're going to be spending a good amount of time with okay um i, I feel like maybe this person has been creeping up on you on social media or, or you'll meet them through some sort, sort of social media website or even like online dating or something like that yeah but um it's gonna be really exciting overall there's a lot of great opportunities coming your way um i feel like now is also the time to treat yourself take that trip that you've always been wanting to take and again the only competition you have have is you um the only person you have to one up is you and you know in making these decisions be sure to really clear your mind i'm even seeing like you know meditation um i know we didn't get the four of swords but like you know with all the swords energy i'm just seeing like you know you should try to quiet your, your mind a little bit so you know you know um what is going to be good for you and what to look out for but yeah really good things happening your way i feel like there's a big transformation that's on the way that's going to be really good for you so yeah okay i'm gonna go ahead and pick some cards from the island time wellness deck just to see what else is going on here Ooh, we got heart with the key. This is amazing. So yeah, you definitely hold the key to someone's heart. Maybe that could clarify who's been stalking you on social media. I definitely feel like a ex-lover, like a past love interest is stalking you, okay? Like, I feel like this person is still very, very much into you. Um, and I feel like there's actually a couple people out there. I definitely feel like one one or two people could be like ex-flings or ex-lovers or exes in general. Um, and I definitely feel like there's someone out there that, you know, wants to form a business partnership with you or like maybe like someone again for from like a, a brand ambassadorship partner program wants to reach out to you i'm even seeing like maybe there's someone that you haven't dated but they've been keeping your their eye on you they've been following your you know stories or like your journey or like just you know following you on social media for a while yeah so 
Um, and I feel like it's going to be really, like, again, you're going to have a lot of choices, a lot of people, a lot of options to choose from. So this is a really exciting time for you. Um, we also got wedding rings. Wow, this is so amazing. So I definitely, uh, everything that I was saying about, like, you know, this queen of pentacles, because she represents stability, commitment, and things like that. I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is going to be a really pivotal time in your love life. I definitely feel like a lot of good change is happening for you. Um, Jupiter is actually going in retrograde. And, you know, Jupiter is the planet of expansion and good luck and you know karma and things like that so um, I'm seeing if there's been a certain area in your life where maybe you feel like you haven't been that lucky for example your love life I feel like you know that's going to be doing a complete shift and you will be you know um, meeting someone really great you will be you know gaining more luck in that area of life the universe is really going to be on your side for some of you guys I definitely do see a proposal coming your way okay obviously this won't resonate with a lot with all of you but i do see some sort of love offer or proposal coming for most of you watching this okay some of you guys could literally be on the verge of getting engaged or married maybe someone is getting married um maybe your marriage is coming up soon or something like that or someone will invite you to a wedding but like i'm just seeing yeah something to do about like marriage union partnerships wedding either you could be attending someone's or again someone's going to be making a love offer or maybe someone will like ask you to be their plus one or something like that but it's looking really good for you gemini placements um and i forgot to mention this but this is for gemini sun moon rising even venus so yeah yeah that is what we got for you gemini i really hope that this reading helped i hope that this reading resonated you know take what resonates and leave what doesn't you always have free will in your reality this is just a general reading if you do want a personalized reading be sure to check out the description box below where you can sign up for um yeah a in-depth personalized video reading and yeah i shall end the reading right here thank you so much love and light